And welcome back everyone to our grand finale of uh, our uh, adventure in uh, the not the end role playing game called Not the Monsters. As always, we have uh, Marco as Sketch. Hello, everybody. Arturo as Bones. Hello. And Vincenzo as Heat. And uh, when we last saw our three monsters, they were bursting out uh, the lower decks of this uh, giant ship that is moving uh, in the sea, uh, surrounded by marines and sailors of the Imperial Navy. Uh, and they are trying a daring escape, I think, or just mayhem without, uh, without reason uh, or any plan whatsoever. One of the two. I don't know what. <laughs> With no, the monster no. don't know either. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, so we, do. we uh, as we, as we probably recall, there were bones and heat were on top of the stairs up uh, on the on the deck of, of the ship. Uh, you are uh, near near bones. There is the mast and a long line <coughs> of. Uh, of soldiers are uh, trying to get their bearings after they've been uh, so surprised and scared by a flaming skeleton coming out of the of the of the, the cage uh, uh, and coming through a flaming humanoid that is heat that just burst through this barrel of charcoal and uh, that still still downstairs there is catch uh, that uh, uh, just uh, has just thrown his two bodies uh, upstairs. There is this uh, moment where uh, most of the soldiers is either knocked down, knocked out, or just too uh, surprised to act. You have a few moments to 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 decide what do you want to do. Because I will be uh, for a while out of uh, the encounter because yeah, I'm doing something yeah. else, I start to do that, and then it's up to you guys. Because okay. catch don't uh, doesn't go upstairs uh, where the other two mm -hmm. are now oh. for using those stairs, but it wants to go to the furnace and get out from uh, that part mm -hmm. of the ship. Because okay. uh, the only thing in uh, catches. Um, mind is to find the kids and tell mm -hmm. them to leave ship because uh, i don't know what's gonna happen but i don't want the kids to die because sure. of what we are doing yes uh, we so have the, I, will, I will go all the way up so they have time to do a couple of rounds of uh, of fighting i think before i am actually okay. outside that's from fine. the other side that's fine uh so uh heat and bones how do you want to approach this uh, uh, <clears throat> mass of soldier that is uh, slowly regrouping and uh, taking aim at you? So the, the closest way out of here is going up, right? I, I would say that you... Uh, Bones is actually already out. He's already on the deck uh, upstairs. Uh, you have the mast right near one of the masts right near you behind you bones you have uh, the chimneys of the uh, coming out of the furnaces so you can just run around the the entire ship whereas uh, hit i would say you are up a few steps downstairs but no more than uh, than four or five steps downstairs so you you with with a couple of uh a uh, couple of steps you can be out and I, do I see the mast? Mm, I mean, I would say that, yes, so you, you, yes. you can, you can take one they, step and you can see it, yes. Are the sails set? Or? Yeah, the sails are set, yes. It's one of those uh, early steamships that has both sail propulsion and uh, steam propulsion. Okay, so... <clears throat> The thing is, if I leave Bones alone, he doesn't stand any chance, right? But I, I think that the best course of action would be to stick together. So if I see you retreating, I'm going to retreat myself. 
Yeah, but I'm not sure that uh, we should stay in. So I I try to to get out to pass to pass past the um, uh, past the few soldiers that are still there and and get close next to one and get out and possibly set fire on the sails. I mean, my idea is to create some fires that distract as many people as possible, trying not to sink the, the ship. Okay, so your idea is that most of the sailors, rather than helping the soldiers, uh, will be occupied to put out the fires? Yes. Okay, so let's make a test. Hmm. Yeah, let's make a test for this. Uh, the test is actually quite easy. It is The difficulty is just three, and uh, for just, just for this test, there is no danger because you are just moving through the chaos. While uh, in the chaos, you can hear the soldiers and a few officers shouting, uh, reform the line, reform the line, don't let them get away. Load your muskets, man. <clears throat> Hold your canoes. Hold your canoes now. Yeah. Okay, so three, you said, and for this, Demon Flame always works, Incendiary also works. Well, terror in the village, because if I'm trying to pass pass them, I mean, this... Yeah, you, you're because they will be scared them. that the entire yeah. ship will catch fire, so yes. Yes. And uh, yeah, I, mean, I would say well. even yeah. this, yeah. So danger, negative, there's no danger, you said. Okay, no, no, be... for just for this few few moments, with the good uh, test you you made mm -hmm. in the last session, you gained a few moments of... Uh... Is there any way that I can help you? I'm not really sure. I mean, you have a small flame inside your skull mm -hmm. right now. <laughs> but I don't know how efficient that will be. No, I, I don't know either. It's up to you. I don't know. Uh, is there a chance that I can gather some gasoline or something? I, I don't know. Tar or mm. something that's it gonna did, help it, help it heat depends. combust. Do, do you think you have any experience on a, on a ship? Oh, absolutely not. I do not. Uh, I don't know. Okay. I mean, you could help using not so lonely anymore because you are now getting used to teamwork. This is something that I can, uh, maybe, I can I don't understand. Know. Maybe there's some charcoal that, that I spotted. I, I don't know. I really don't know. I think it's kind of a stress, though. Yeah, so maybe I, 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 I don't think there are a lot of flammables on uh, on the deck of a ship. So, okay. So maybe I simply keep fighting my way to... Okay. Like, like... We'll see when it's your turn, then. So yeah. you can uh, draw, Vincenzo. Burn them all. I think I'll actually pick only one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it works. It just works. Uh, the the most of the sailors will be occupied by your uh, by, by um, <clears throat> to, they will try to put out the fires and will not help the the soldiers. Now uh about a third of the soldiers have been already knocked out by your previous uh, uh, actions. And uh, uh, as, the, as the, um, the admiral of the ship and, um, and the quartermaster and all the officers are uh, shouting orders mm -hmm. so that the, the people, uh, actually the, the sailors are going around put, putting out fires, you are left with only uh, a few dozens of uh, Marines still trying to regroup. Uh, Marines have been called back from the other uh, decks of the ship that they were inspecting, and they are now grouping in uh, a square formation of uh, about uh, 30 uh, Marines left. Hmm. Okay, do um, I, I don't remember. Uh, wait, 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 just a second. Since you, you, since you, you just acted, Sorry, Boris, do yes. you want to do something? I think I just bide my time by keeping people away from heat. 
so that <clears throat> it can do its trick. Uh, I think I, I don't know holding position or something. So okay, so you do not engage uh, head on. No, I, I kind of respond if any, anyone engages me, but I don't think I'm gonna get further uh, behind enemy lines. Okay, okay. Uh, well, if, if you guys don't do anything, the Marines will regroup and they will start uh, firing volley after volley to you. No, so... my question is, uh, because I don't remember uh, precisely, did we find out where uh, Luke and Leia are? You, you still haven't. Well, you know you've been, not... you been in the Lantern with them for a bit, but then uh, when all this shenanigan happens, you've mm -hmm. been brought... Uh, uh, in the area with the monsters, in, with the lantern. Yeah. I remember that. So they can be anywhere. They can be uh, working on the fire that you just said. Yeah, they most likely are uh, passing uh, buckets of water to to the other sailors. They are forming uh, lines uh, of sailors to pass on uh, buckets of water. So that's probably, they are probably, you can probably, think that they are either close to one of your fires or uh, or getting in position to help from one of your fires. Okay. This is the most you can gather, unless you actively look for them. I think I will. I will try to... I mean, maybe I don't see that... If I don't see have a good sight of the of the of the bridge and try also to, to get out and to see no, if you can you, spot them. I would say that you are out. If you okay, manage I, to I, set I see if I can spot them. And I I also tell Bones, I mean we have to we have to find them and, and put the them kids. on a lifeboat. By the way, is there any lifeboat on site? There are, people? yes, there are there are lifeboats, yes. There are a few. Uh, okay. So shall we split and keep spreading havoc and looking for the kids in the meantime? I think we can at least look for them. I, I wouldn't split. Okay. Okay. Uh, this will be your last test with, without danger. After this, the, the Marines have regrouped and they will start firing upon you. Mm -hmm. So, um, neither Heat nor Bones, uh, as I recall, have uh, uh, any traits that can help uh, just knowing where uh, a cabin boy could be in this, uh, in this situation. I so, so you, will, you will need to make a test to see if by any chance you stumble upon them. Or we can make uh, a, a random... Uh, a random check, the, the, the famous Storinata named after, uh, after, I would say this is probably the best case because it's not really a test right now, it's just chance, it is because not just not yeah. using any, any strategy. So hit, uh, go, go to options in the upper left corner and, uh, and try. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I think there is an optional rule that if the test fails, ah, okay, you didn't fail, right? I was going <laughs> to say that if the test fails, uh, Claudio Pustorino needs to buy drinks for anyone, right? That, that's the rule. Yes, yes, yes. You can blame the author, yes, but okay. in returns, uh, he needs to do that, yeah. But we didn't fail, so no. it so, looks like we find okay, the kids, right? You see them. You are, uh, they, are, um, the, they are true uh, people in a long line of about 20 people passing buckets of water towards one of the uh, largest fire you 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 made and they are let's so say I see them or or both sees them when i point you, them. you 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 drew the token so i would say you okay and okay, they so are about, because you know them I, better than both i would say uh, 50 steps from you okay i tell bones about it and i don't see Catch anymore, or uh, I would say the catch uh, gets back uh, to you in the next uh, in the next uh, scene. Okay, so if... 
I'm thinking because if I go there, I endanger them probably. I don't see a lot of ways that this can end well. <laughs> uh, it, it is kind of hard. Let's say that for now, uh, we leave uh, hit and bones looking around their gaze, uh, glancing on the kids and then on, on the line of uh, Marines uh, reloading their muskets and taking aim and we go back to catch. So, what is, uh, so you are, um, most of the people working in, uh, in the furnace are, are scattered around trying to put out the fire. So the stair is pretty much free. Do you yeah, want but, something uh, special? Mm -hmm. Yes, when I pass in the furnace, I uh, just uh, randomly turn all the vials that I find the, the, <laughs> the different okay. thing. I just go in, I, I take some out. I put like two or three barrels of uh, of charcoal in the furnace, and then go, I go upstairs. That's fine. I would say that just just making mayhem is not a test. Yeah, I, I just... destroy as much thing as I, possible. I, going. I just want you to make uh, a random uh, a random pusterinata yeah. to see how how it goes. Yeah, it went well. Yeah, it went well. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, okay, it went well for you. It went well for what I want to do. I don't want this ship to arrive the other side. Okay, fine. So it the most destruction possible. Fine. Exactly. Yeah, it either stops or explodes. I don't know how much mayhem I did, uh, but uh, uh, stopping is, it, is the mayhem. Yes, uh, you, you you hear some very unsettling noises like uh, 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 gears grinding together, like they they, they cannot roll anymore. Uh, a burst of flame coming from from, from the furnace. The the wood uh, shrieking as. Uh, as the, the 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 propulsion from sails and uh, steam goes one against the other, it's very very, very destructive. And then nice. you can, and then you get back on the on the upper deck of the of the ship. And when I arrive on top of the ship and I see all this chaos that is going around, I think that is all my causes. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> because I just did something with the engine, and I have no idea how they work. So it's like, oh, God, did there is a, there is a smoke pretty much everywhere caused by by heat, <laughs> uh, and by the chimneys that are sprouting out all this, basically erupting with uh, embers and flames. What uh, I want to do, my aim was to look for the kids. Okay, so uh, let's say that uh, since uh, uh, Heat found them, you can see them, but they are quite very much far away from you. They are on the opposite deck of the of the ship. They are very much closer to Heat and Bones. The point is, uh, I don't have the same uh, mentality of Heat, so I'm gonna go and approach them. So I just start with my very very slow jog. Oh. <laughs> to go toward them and if anybody is in the middle between me and those guys are just like flies just yeah, swat them around exactly. okay, okay. Uh, I would say that you are pretty much unopposed for now because the sailors are uh, have no, no no intention of fighting you. They are just trying to keep the boat afloat, <coughs> and they uh, uh, keep uh, they keep on uh, on working on the fire. So whenever you approach, they move away and then reform. Whereas uh, hit and bones, you can hear now an officer voice screaming, "Okay, platoon, they came." And fire! Do you have a couple of seconds as the officer is shouting this to do something, and then the volley is going to go through the smoke and towards you? I turn what towards. Will, uh, what what turn will uh, a musket shot do to an elemental of fire? I turn at bones exactly. That's what I'm asking. Are they seriously shooting at me? <laughs> I'm sorry? 
you know, I, I look, I turn to Bones and I ask me, are, are they seriously shooting at me? Is this, this is apparently what is going to happen. And then the volley arrived. Maybe, the I, maybe then, we overestimated them. Or maybe they under, uh, underestimated you, but they properly estimated me. Because the only thing that I can do is probably the turtle maneuver and... No, um, on all seriousness, I think that uh, I, I, I mean, getting shot at can lead to serious no, damage, yes. right? It, it, can it can already happened break, to me. Break balls. It can definitely break so, balls. So I think that, <clears throat> and I saw cats passing by, right? I'm sorry. Well, cats. I on, think I did. I'm coming, I did I'm see coming. cats. Yeah, you, 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 yeah, you can hear. I can hear him, but I've not seen him. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, is there any chance for me to take over or to... You know what? No, I'm not taking over anymore. I'm just rushing them and see what happens. I think that's my best bet. I would say that against the Marines with muskets, rushing them is not a bad tactic because the, the bayonets are not very yeah. useful in close quarters, so that's you right. can still... Uh, uh, okay, so you charge them and you're just uh, atta attacking them with the sword. I am. Um, Go Is for it. Is there a barrel? Ah, in next a barrel next to me, or a crate, or something? Yeah, there the probably are. Yes. Right. So. So uh, okay, your. This is uh, let's Three. since this is the first volley, they haven't taken proper aim yet. The danger is still four. But uh, what is your goal? I mean, is it to kill as many as you can? I think my likely my goal would be to uh, I, I don't know if I if I see them or if I just have to guess where they are based on the voices. But my, my goal, my first goal would be to cut the official down. Okay, cut the officer down. Fine. Uh, cut so the, head, as, the snake will follow. Uh, yes, this is nice. Uh, and you you are a, a former, a probably former military man, so you know this is a good move. So. Uh, I would say, uh, of course, they are trying to defend the officer, so I would say a difficulty of four, and the danger is four, because they they still have not, uh, and they, they, they haven't sure. taken proper aim yet. And I think these four apply, right? Double edged sword, I'm a mm -hmm. I am my sword. Yes, those four. Sure. I don't I don't think I'm the last one standing no. anymore, because in this case no, it's quite the no, opposite, right? Not. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, okay. that's maybe. Okay. And uh, did did I see the kids myself or is yes, it something yes, that yes, no, no, he, he told you where they are? Okay. So that's like the next step, right? My idea will be to disable the opponent here and then go straight to the kids. Oh, okay. And I already feel the bag. I think I'm going to... I'm going to draw three. Nice. You guys are giving me no, no, no munitions. <laughs> <laughs> No, every time that we get one, we give it to you. You have plenty of ammunition. <laughs> no, no, no. So, um, can I manage to? Oh, can I manage, or do I manage to cut this good fellow's head off? And maybe with the second token, I don't know if you've co confused the troop or otherwise. I, I would uh, say okay. This is something that we haven't talked about yet. Uh, mm -hmm. Very advanced uh, challenges have uh, uh, depth. You, you need, yeah, they have depth. You need more than uh, one success to succeed. <laughs> I'm sorry for the mm -hmm. for the wordplay. Uh, and so, right now, if your goal is to uh, disable the officer with two tokens, you can you can kill you can kill him. You can kill him dead right now, and then but the platoon will get its bearing and Simple. then uh, regroup. Fine. So. Yeah. Fine for me. Okay. So I'm going to invest my two positive tokens in killing this yes. decent person. And the negative one, I mean, I think that's another good instance to put it into adrenaline. 
but that's that, that, a yeah. sword fight is gonna end you, right? So yeah. Okay. And I shout profanities and old, very old-fashioned profanities. Yes, because that, that's <laughs> what people would, as one would do during a, a charge, right? A battle charge. Yes. Uh, the okay. Uh, perfect. So hit. So these um, the marines they are on. So I we are between the marines or I am between the marines and the kids. I would say uh, no. I mean, let's say you are like in a in a triangle. So okay. you can either go so towards I'm, the marines. What I want to do is to look for something that I can use to create a lot of smoke. Pete, for example, okay. uh, I don't know, a barrel full of tar or something, or I mean, even the the, the sails. I think they if they fall, yeah yeah yeah. So or uh, ropes you will... ropes. Something like yes, that. Uh, you you will aim your fire at something that makes a lot of smoke. Okay, we've uh, you, your end goal is just to make uh, this this ship a mess that nobody can see anything. Yes, but especially the marines. Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, that's fine. I would say hmm. uh, the, the danger right now, uh, unless you 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 start attacking the the marines uh, properly will go up every every action because they mm -hmm. are getting more and more desperate mm -hmm. and they are fighting for their lives no, no no longer for orders but they are on a ship uh, rolling in, in so mm -hmm. unless you, you can make them flee towards the lifeboats they the danger will uh, will uh, increase. Well, i'm assuming so, diplomacy is out of the question now right by now it's, mm -hmm. it's a little bit too late for that or uh okay so uh let's i would say that the difficulty is still four because you you're not used uh on a ship and the danger gets to three mm -hmm. uh i would say that you can use your usual uh, fire traits uh, but i don't know if i mean yes terror in the village you, you are making more scary the situation is getting scarier mm -hmm. right the second, I would say yes. So everything here you can use. And uh, well, this one, I don't know. Maybe it helps me understand it's, better. It's, how it's, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably. Okay. So uh, danger three. I'll pick two. Nope. No, Sorry. that's random. Okay. Yeah. Two. Oh. <laughs> uh, you, you look around, but uh, you can see that this is a properly maintained Imperial Navy ship, so they do not leave many flammables around. <laughs> Whatever flammables they are, are safely tucked away, and uh, there's just the sails, basically, that can catch on fire. Well, pro pro probably if everything is already on fire, the, the other co <laughs> combustible are being brought away, yes. just in case. And uh, what will you do with those two negatives? Well, problems? I think that I am confused. Okay. Because, I mean, I, was, I wasn't expecting this outcome. And... Um, And maybe I'm, well, I don't know how to, to put it, but I would say that I I spent some of my energy, some of my fire, and, but, and I didn't yeah, get is, anything is, out of it. Is so it a misfortune? Is it a misfortune? I would say so, yes. Okay, uh, I, so. Need, I need fuel. Yeah, something yeah. I consumed or something. I, I, like I was that. also thinking about uh, the fact that the ship is now uh, rolling wildly. Mm -hmm. And so there are waves coming through the mm -hmm. uh, through the through the through the, the side that it's splashing you. So not only you you have expended some of your fuel, but you're also uh, getting drops in you that are extinguishing some tons of flame. So mm -hmm. I would say uh, we already use the running on fumes, right? Yes. <laughs> so this is probably. Um, 
I don't know something about. I, I don't uh, think that it's running on fuel. I think that this one is like a. a uh, I, I need to burn. It's more like uh, oh, there's nothing yet to burn. It's like uh, um, okay, give me more. It's, it's almost like looking for something that is not there. See, uh, yes, uh, like, like hungry for flammables or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you you can you can decide. Uh, the, 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 do you have a light? <laughs> Got a light. Got, Got a, a light. light. <laughs> it's okay, but you can write whatever you want. It just yeah, yeah, just, just the, the, idea, the idea is that you, you, you find yourself lacking uh, something that, that that can burn. The wording you can you can decide for yourself. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> uh, I think it is up to catch. Okay. So they are the, the soldiers. Actually, they are not blind, so they can hear and see you coming towards the sailors. I so the don't. danger is there for you as well. What do you? I do? don't mind at all. What I want to do is to go pick up the two kids and go toward the uh, little boat and put them there and say, "No, you go. If you have friends, call them now." But, but but so sh we we go in the boat or we call the friends? I don't know. Call the friends from here. Go and save yourself. Trust me, this is not gonna end well for anybody. Okay, and and you you can see them uh, screaming. Okay, let's see if you can uh, get them from the line without anybody trying to. Save them from you because you are a monster kid kidnapping two children. Okay, well, uh, is care for the first time for the first time still on? Yeah, I think so. Mm. It's, it's very short time, I yeah, think. very short time. Yes, uh, so well, uh, fearsome, yeah, okay. Uh, even if they try to stop me, I'm relentlessly slow. I'm still a forest troll. I don't know if any. No, the forest, the forest troll. What is the forest troll here doing? For in my opinion, hey, I'm a monster. I'm a ah, monster. Okay. A sailor so you... will come and bother me. I don't okay, think so. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Uh, and nurturing being because I'm trying to save these two guys. Okay, okay. But that's it. Okay. Uh, the, I mean, the adrenaline, and I have to put scare for the first time. Yes, How difficult the, it is? The difficulty is three, and the danger is three. Okay. So I have four and four, and I have to get four. Oh, yes, fine. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. Okay. So with one, I get them. Uh, with one, the friends that they have from the village are were all in the line, so they can actually okay. call it what they are. Okay, they're sticking together, yes. Yeah. And the third one, I'm going to take uh, Scare for the first time away. Oh, okay. Because now I I was scared more for what is going to happen for the last few minutes because I was thinking about the kids. And now I'm not scared anymore because uh, for me they are on a <laughs> safe boat. <laughs> they, they call it like this. Yes. <laughs> what will you do with the negative one? The negative one. Um, the negative one. I will. And now I know that the, the fight will start. I put it on adrenaline. Okay. Because uh, I saved them and I turn around and now it's time for. Catch for the fight to yes. be the monster that he is. Yeah. In the in the in the smoke that is uh, filling parts of the ship, uh, the sailors. Uh, some of the sailors are getting to the other lifeboats because uh, they can feel that something is not right. The braver ones are running downstairs trying to. Uh, set the furnace straight and do not make it explode. And 
all, all, all that's left to face uh, you guys are these 30 marines and uh, the three arcaneers left mm -hmm. uh, the the marines are in three lines of 10 uh, trying to take aim at uh, mostly um, catch whereas a small group of five or six are trying with their bayonets to keep uh, bones at bay whereas the arcaneers are moving towards heat with uh, what uh, look like uh, containers uh, fireproof containers trying to to get him i would actually uh, say that uh, in this situation uh, the danger becomes true for every test mm -hmm. what do you guys want to do well personally i think that with utmost disregard for my own sake my i mean i know catch is tough but i also know he's a properly living creature and i think that seeing 10 persons aiming at him looks like a really 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 bad situation so my my goal will be to like unleash hell upon the the marines uh, stopping me from helping him so my immediate goal is just go help cats and try not to get him to... i mean that's i don't want to see cats die or something that's great so I... that's great so uh, you're uh, uh... You, you basically disregard the ones trying to uh, fight you close uh, close quarters and you uh, try to swing your sword at, at the line of musketeers firing upon catch. Yeah, yeah yes. My priority will be to... Uh, I'd love to see him getting on the boat with the kids. And, uh, I know that I could probably take uh, worse punishment than he can before you know fainting or something, so I'm going to try to do that. Okay. Which uh, implies possibly hmm. going okay. to sleep in a couple of minutes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, I would say that if you want for a catch to be safe for a few moments, uh, this is, is actually incredibly hard. I mean, I would say it's, it's almost impossible to take uh, all, all of, the, of, of the Marines uh, to distract or, uh, or even yeah. bother most of the Marines. So I would say yeah. that uh, the difficulty right now is, is six. I mean, there are I, 20. There no, are yes. 20. I, I, I don't think that I'm even able to take on 20 persons, but no, of course, at but least... I, I mean, I don't know, for a few moments, mm -hmm. of course. Yeah. So you know, at least he... getting some, raising some pressure from him. Yeah, okay. So, so uh, that's that's a six, right? That is a six, and the danger is still two. <sighs> okay. But that's going to be the first thing since which apply this course. round, because I'm going to be... You are an adrenaline as well. <laughs> uh, I, am I adrenaline. would say that pretty much uh, anything but skepticism applies yes, here. Yes, I think so. <laughs> well, you know what? Yeah. Here it is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? Yes. What? <laughs> okay. Um, I think I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna escape from a couple of bullets or two, or five or something. So no, this but, is gonna take a toll from the story yeah, wise, I guess. Most most of the, of the bullets and the bayonets get uh, absorbed by the armor and the arcane suit you have on yourself. This is. I, I don't think I've ever seen this. Uh, <laughs> but I, I, I would did. Say that. <laughs> thing I did a couple of times and it stuck. <laughs> R rushing r rushing through, through the lines of musketeers with your sword drawn, uh, you are definitely able to distract them for, for a few moments. And, and and that should be it. They should regroup and then fight back. Yeah. What happens instead? This is the first time that I have so many positive tokens to use in my whole life. Like, I mean, not the end side. I mean, that's the best thing that happened to me. From the uh, like yeah. statistical point of view, I think that is there a depth to this uh, thing that I was trying to do it. Yes, to, to do, the, or? The, yeah, of course. The the, the troop of of Asian Marines does have a depth. Uh, 
so you can uh, expand uh, some of those towards uh, the depth, meaning that you cut down more and more and more of them. I think I'm going to do that. Because I'm using... just blindly going to kill as many people as I can, only to see that my friends get on that lifeboat. That's my priority. I'm Should not going to do anything fancy at the moment. I'm just going to make good use of my trusted sword. So you are hacking uh, as, ma as, as many marines as you as you can just there are just limbs and and, and pieces of human falling to the ground yeah. uh, here and there uh, some of them try to to block your sword with their muskets yeah. and you destroy the muskets yeah. as well as the arms together with yeah, your that's sword. my point because you know initially i mentioned this that they're not civilians right these are no, not only enslaving uh, my, my, no, the, my this, friends, this but is, also... This is the elite army of the, of the Empire. They knew what they were going to sign for. They, that's evil people, right, from my perspective. And from these are the obstacles, yeah. yeah, of course. But I think that's about time that they see what a monster really looks like. Yeah, and this is exactly what it feels like. They, they say, mm -hmm. oh my God, he cannot be killed. He, he's already dead. He cannot be killed. Oh my God. And, and oh, 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 oh. the lower jaw gets thrown away like this. So, Heat, uh, these, these, uh, these Arcaneers are coming towards you with these uh, large containers that mm -hmm. look uh, very much fireproof. They are trying to approach you from three different di uh, directions, uh, trying to block you inside these uh, containers. What do you do? Okay, what I tried, so um, when uh, Bones went away, he left the, the ones that were with him, right? So there is also a group of uh, Marines somewhere there. Uh, I, I am imagining that most of the Marines are uh, in, in, a, in a close formation because they, they feel that safety is in numbers right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so what I try to do is actually, now, I mean, I don't want to contain the damage anymore. And I try to attack the. Um, the is there only one mast? I don't know. Maybe mast is only no, one. The, 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 yeah, the, there is more than one. There are at okay. least three. Yeah. So if there is a smaller one that I can e more easily uh, target, and I try to make it fall, like to make the, the, the sails burn up as much as possible, and, and try to make that one fall on. I mean, on the Marines or on the Arcaneers and... Uh... Oh, okay, okay. So you want to burn the, the mass so that it falls on someone. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, yes. Uh, this is not very easy because the, the mast, in addition to being very thick wood, it's also being treated to not be easily flammable. So you need mm -hmm. to... Empl I mean, it, it's more than just being touched by flame to catch fire. Yeah. So uh, I would say that the, the danger keeps on being true right now. And I would say that it's uh, <clears throat> probably five. And I'm confused. That's fantastic. Uh, well, one thing, is the drown button not extinguished the still working? Drown? After it went back to full power? Yeah, that's for sure. You should probably clean that. Yeah, you can use it if you want. You can uh, clean the scar if you want. Just a reminder, you mm. know, for the for the viewer that uh, there are moments in which this uh, thing will disappear. Yeah. Okay, so I think I would also say that looking for flammable supplies because uh, it's not very flammable. This master, it is yeah. uh, treated wood, so it's it's kind of. Uh, hard too, so you should also put, uh, mm. yeah, okay. And you are confused, so yeah, okay, of course those you, okay. Ah, so you are using your scar in this situation? Yeah, yes. Yes, well, okay. I think so, yes. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's my hope. So you are confused, so, so the tokens are random, you can uh, fill the bag and then uh, I think two. Yeah. Okay. Oh. 
Okay, so uh, right now you have the chance, if you wish, uh, with this you will go out of, uh, you will leave the scene. You can always risk it. Yeah, well. If you risk it, you draw enough tokens to get up to five. So in this situation, you will draw three more. And the downside is that I decide the negative ones where they go. I think this could be my last action, so... The last attempt of doing something. Ha! Ah. Holy <laughs> moly! <laughs> what was in the bag? Well, nothing. I think two or three at most. Oh, yeah. there were Positive only ones. four. Only four positive in the bag. Well, actually, one, one, uh, one of the negative ones goes uh, goes towards the the drown, the scar. Mm -hmm. But uh, with that, uh, you are still out of. uh, You you leave the scene once again. Uh, Mm -hmm. Basically, what I am imagining is that all of all all of the fire that you are. uh, Aiming at this uh, at this mast, it takes uh, you are basically becoming like a blowtorch, like s- such concentrated fire that you are burning through whatever uh, keeps you protection. Yeah, yeah, every, everything that makes you yourself. And then the the arcaneers arrive. Yeah, <laughs> yes, you, they just fluk, uh, and uh, both bone. I would say that for dramatic purposes. Both bones and the catch can see uh, hit getting captured once again by by the arcaneers. A god plan, don't worry. The uh, and you actually have we actually have one more uh, negative negative token to dispose of. Yeah, but it was also the, a positive and, one. And I'm the, sorry. It succeeded. It was also the positive one. Yes, the positive one okay. it, it it works, but uh, I would mm-hmm. say that uh, with you are trying to make the mast fall on the on uh, at this point you need to tell me if you want to take out uh, uh, the other arcaneers besides the one that uh, got you or some of the soldiers. The arcaneers, the world. Hmm. I think the Arcanese might be a bit more uh, dangerous than this single sword. So if I can take them out, I would take them out. Okay, so the the mast falls down and blocks uh, under under its weight the two remaining Arcaneers. The only one left is the one that right now is holding... Uh, In what kind heat. of container? Um, the, it's kind of like the one where they put the um, the, the will of the wisp it, it, it is okay. this uh, sp- spherical um it from the outside looks metallic and the on the inside you don't actually see what it is but it's like a pac-man eating the flame okay. uh, <laughs> and it's about uh, double the size of a basketball all right uh, okay Hit you feel once again extinguished, but you manage to do what you did. I see a pattern and, uh, here. It's... Yeah, but what <laughs> uh, what I will say is that the last one with the mast falling down, it unbalances the ship even more, mm-hmm. and uh, it uh, tilts heavily on one side, and it is very very likely that it will capsize. That is perfect for what I want. <laughs> It will capsize in a few moments. The you act, you see that the, the marines. So it's not are Titanic. Super... It's not falling on the. You know, no, on I'm, the side, thinking, I'm thinking more more like the, more like this. I'm thinking. Yeah. Okay. More. Uh... And uh, but what I would say is that since this is a complication for you guys, is that probably the marines trained for this situation, so they are. Uh, trying to get ropes and lo- uh, they are locking together to hold their ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch. 
I start to run as fast as I can. There's no okay. much toward uh, uh, the Arcaneers that uh, just cause a uh, hit. And uh, halfway through, when the ship starts to uh, become a rolling stone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Um, nice. It's time, is it? <laughs> it's a clobbering time. <laughs> yes. Uh, Okay, and I guess that your goal is just to strike uh, the, the Arcaneer into the ocean? No, I want to, uh, it's not to strike it, it's to squish it against the mast that is in there, in the way that then I try to free it. I aim okay. to just... Okay, okay, okay. Um, it's actually, it's, it's still very, very dangerous. I would say still, uh, the danger is still true, but it I don't think, I mean, it, it's not that hard for you to become a boulder. It's more a matter of can you aim yourself in the right direction? Mm -hmm. This is the water. big problem. This is the big problem uh, since you are a boulder rolling down uh, a ship. But you are quite massive. I would say that uh, probably it's it's still five. I mean, uh, the situation is, is, so, is so chaotic that it's still five. Come on. Yeah. It's a... Uh... I can see the Arcanier running away, Indiana Jones style, <laughs> with the boulder behind. <laughs> Holding heat like the idol. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So five. Um, I'm gonna use uh, uh, stone and dirt. Yeah. Relentlessly slow. Uh, fearsome. Uh, Well, you are throwing yourself, right? So. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I would say both troll and one with nature, since you are becoming a boulder. I'm not quite sure about the slow because you are trying to move fast, but mm -hmm. and my relentless is... though. This is okay, uh, this is the point. Fine, it's fine, like it's, uh, it's made to make it like also the boulder. It doesn't roll straight away. It will gain momentum, yeah. momentum, yeah. and then it's relentless. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Uh, That's fine. The danger is still I, true. I think it's a crucial thing. Is it's cru okay? It's a okay. crucial test because I'm going to. I'm trying to save heat. Yeah, I re remember this. Yeah. Okay, okay, a crucial test. Yes, it's a crucial test. It, yeah. it, so not, not the end. You are saying. I mean, okay, just crucial. No, no, no. It's a crucial test. Absolutely. Go for it. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, you actually succeed uh, yeah. in what you are trying to, to do. I would say that the, the Arcanier is squished against the mast and the, the container holding uh, the last spark of heat once again falls to the ground and starts rolling towards the side of the ship, but that's blocked uh, by, let's say, ropes or something. Uh, no, I, I use the second one to after I hit. I hit this uh, thing to go back uh, myself and just stop it and just uh, hold it or, or go on it just to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. Okay. To, to cradle into and, it. Uh, that is there. But uh, to do so, you you lose your boulder form. Yeah. And uh, what happens is that uh, due, due to the strain that this ship is enduring, one of the chimneys cracks down and actually pins you to the ground. You are now pinned yeah. and probably uh, uh, probably uh, fainted as well, stunned as well under this uh, large ch metal chimney with just uh, the large one <coughs> hand holding in place the container, avoiding it rolling into the ocean. I, and if I can, before, uh, before I pass out completely, as my head is just there, uh, said, my friend, if you can hear me, go to the kids. Be their guiding light in this sea. They have to stay alive. They have to show that we are not the monster that they believe we are. And then I pass out. 
There's only bones left. Uh, the soldiers are so. very scared. Uh, you are having trouble keeping uh, keeping your footing in this situation. Mm -hmm. uh, but basically, you are so in the middle of of the group of soldiers that if they actually if they get uh, uh, some leverage to stay to stay in uh, in place and not fall down, you can grab them on. You can grab onto them as well to stay mm -hmm. where you are. So just to recap, the kids are still in the, danger, the kids, right? The kids are actually somewhat safe because the luckily, kids are alright. Yeah, <laughs> the kids are alright. Luckily, the 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 safe the uh, the safe boat was cut loose before the ship started tilting. Uh, so they probably right now are still at risk if if the boat capsizes and crushes the life the safe boat, but they are on the ocean and they can get away. Uh, they are still very very close by. Uh, there's probably still a few lines holding mm, to them be. towards the uh, against the the ship. Heat is uh, as, almost as In extinguished, Gulf, okay. yeah, and catch is under the chimney. And you are still in the middle of the soldiers. What is going on through through the mind of Bones right now? He was one of the uh, the only one that wanted to get to the other side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think it's also the um, that that's the point. I don't think that I I, I wouldn't want them to pay the price. For something that was event like th thinking about it, they wouldn't probably have chosen to be on the ship. <clears throat> so I could probably just walk away and ignore this. However, that will defeat the purpose of what I just learned about these people here. That an existence of like at the end of the day, what's what's a life spent alone worth, right? Yeah. If you keep letting people that you just uh, connected with uh, like if you just walk away so i think my 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 idea now is that i should uh, assuming that the kids are fine they're probably going to uh, get it to the other side yeah and assuming that i'm not gonna leave these two on their own i think that's my final crucial test in which I detach from my sword. Final as in uh, this is the end uh, of final, the final. No, no, I don't know. But uh, final as in if this were the end, I'd be okay with it. Because my idea is that now what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do, is passing the sword to the kids, letting them know that, uh, asking them, or even not even asking, hoping that they would do that, Hoping that they would just carry it to the other side, and if I if I can manage to uh, to bring it back home, fine. If not, just melt the thing down and make uh, I don't know gardening tools out of it, because that would be a better way usage of this iron here, right? So my idea is just like go to the kids, handle the sword to someone that can use it in a way better way that I could. And then run all the way to my good friend Katz trying to, I don't know, wake him up or something. And, yeah, or the, the kids, heat or kids, whatever I can help. The kids are in the ocean, though. <laughs> Already there. Yeah, no, I'm going to throw it. I, I, I would say that, uh, uh, let's say that the, the ship is tilted so that yeah. uh, the kids are down here. Towards I thought the they were kind of... of, they were kind of yeah, going the ship, to yeah. right. The ship is sinking close, closer and closer to this. Uh, basically, you can toss the sword something along these lines. Where you are. So my point is that okay, that was my mission. Just please do it for me if you can. If you don't, just make something better than what I could do with this sword. Make something useful. Make I, I don't know. Uh, do something Both that make mind. more sense. And then I'm just gonna try and save these two guys. I'm not gonna. I never gonna leave them behind. I don't know what kind of test this is. I would say that giving the sword to the kids 
is not that's really kind of a, the end. Is not really a test for you, but it will mean that it is the end for you. Yeah, I think it is. It, yeah. it, it is your choice. So the kids get this uh, uh, the, the the sword lens on the on the safe boat. The kids look up at you. Uh, hit and catch they knew from before you they just had uh, a few moments to know yeah, they... but uh, with this gesture you actually show them that uh, everything that they learned about monsters uh, was wrong because the three monsters that they knew were actually the ones that cared mm -hmm. the most even you that you were so strange and scary you just cared about them and a bit ugly i would say yeah i'm definitely <laughs> ugly also my character yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if I have time to, to say something before they disappear, that's what I'm going to say. Like, uh, I don't know, make a good use of it. Eventually, please destroy the thing, turn it into something beautiful and, uh, I don't know, something that brings life, not death. And then I'm going to turn to turn away and, I don't know, fall, probably fall into pieces. At this point, I don't know. No, I would say you have uh, enough uh, spark in you mm -hmm. for one last test. So this is actually an, an actual mechanic of the game. Uh, you you can choose when a test is the last test of your of your hero. You actually choose when when to play the end of your hero. Mm -hmm. What happens is let's start this as. A normal, a normal test. So what are, are you trying to do? You are trying to save, catch, and hit so that they can get away, like hit on the on the safe boat and catch uh, somewhere else. Maybe even, even if I keep uh, heat and just floating yeah. away, we will yeah. find something. <laughs> yeah. So you, you are trying to, to lift the chimney and uh, get them out of, uh, of where or the, the trap where they are right now. Yeah. I would say and that the difficulty is, uh, I mean, it's, it's it's quite hard, but luckily the chimney can roll down because uh, mm -hmm. the, the ship is tilted, so you just yeah. need to push on the right direction. I would say four for okay. the... Uh, and uh, what are you going to use for your... Well, uh, that's for sure. Last one standing, yes. That's right. This is going to apply. Yes. That's definitely my motivation here. And uh, resilient as well, because you have been quite resilient right now. Now, Bloodthirsty doesn't really apply, because no, that's no. quite the opposite. Like, if my character would continue, yeah, I would yeah. change this. You know what? I am my sword here is more important than anybody. I think so. I think else. so. I think because so, because... That you're going. Yeah, because I am my yeah. sword. It's not that the sword is me, right? Yes. So probably this five... Yeah. I think so. so maybe I'm a, little, I'm a little bit skeptical that I'm gonna make no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wouldn't work. It won't work. Yeah. It won't so, work. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh sure. So that, if this is the, the if this is your uh, your end, you don't actually need to draw. What happens is that you fill the bag and then every token counts. So four negative things and five positive things will come out of this. And this will be For the end story, yeah. of our adventure. So, with your first one, you manage to dislodge the, the chimney from overcatch, and they are more or less free. Now, you decide who narrates what. You give tokens away. You, either, you keep them from, from yourself. You can say, you narrate the first negative, you the first positive, mm -hmm. I, I the next one. And with this, we can close our adventure. Okay. I'd say that I narrate the first negative. Yeah, what which is it? Is that my bones start to shudder because the, the aforementioned spark starts fading away, right? So I don't know, I managed to dislocate the thing, but maybe my arms fall or my legs break or something. Yeah. So or my what? bone structure starts to fade away. Yes. This is what uh, you are far away from your sword, and whatever magic was keeping you together is, yeah. fa is failing. What else? And I think that the first positive is going to be narrated by Catch. Okay. The second positive, rather, because yeah. one is gone, right? Catch uh, uh, 
without the, the weight on his shoulder, uh, sees um, <clears throat> sees uh, bones crumbling in front of him, and uh, said, "You will never be forgotten." And uh, with a hand that takes the plates from your armor out of uh, this. Uh, powdery substance that you are left there hmm. because there was the symbol of your uh, ah yeah the heraldry symbol the heraldry yeah, symbol that you recognize yeah. and uh, I put it in one of the different places where my critters live to keep it forever with me okay, okay. and I think that uh, I'm going to take the second negative saying that I try to answer something, but I cannot do that because I'm finally silent. I mean, I still perceive what's happening, but I'm both unable to move because my bones are starting to get into powder. And the moment I try to say something to Cat, uh, maybe I convey a message with my dead eyes, but there's no voice uh, coming out of me. No, nobody will hear your last. Words. Nobody will. No, yeah. Maybe then, they did, but then because the last the last the crucial uh, throw that I did, I put no monster left behind <laughs> as a as a trait. Uh, so yeah, it's perfect yeah. that uh, then you finish and I take something of you. To, to, that's to I think that's way. that's perfect, and I think <laughs> that the next positive is going to be for uh, hit. I know it's out of the game, but uh, maybe oh, also no, no, to narrate something. Also catch was, but right now you are making no. them coming yeah. back to your. But I think what 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 you see from the outside is that. Um, so I'm assuming this this box is is there's no windows, there's nothing, but you see that it's um, you hear something um, knocking on the on the sides of this thing, and it it starts shaking a little bit, and. Um, after a while, you you hear you all start here like a like a whistle, like a distant whistle, and the the charcoal that is in your skull starts resonating with the whistle, and um, that last flame that is there, it, it kind of you, you you hear something in your mind that says, um, "Thank you, my friend. You will always live with me, and you will not be forgotten." And then you come out from the, the from the spark in his mouth. <laughs> be awesome. Yeah, like a small flaming. Yeah. Now, as for are the... you, are, are you uh, coming out? I mean, uh, are you still in? I think you're still in the. <sighs> it's okay. You're still in the container. Would, would be kind of a stretch, but it no, wouldn't be. I would, say, I would say that's a good use for another positive token. Yeah, no, would be I, another I, one. Yeah. I think that would be nice if you stay in there. Because uh, we are in the middle of the ocean, yes, <laughs> it's the safest place for you too. because we are on a sinking <laughs> ship, <laughs> and I can open so, you easier when we arrive outside on, on land. So I think we have used three positive, right, and two negative. Yes, and I think that I'm gonna give both the next negative and positive to the master, to the narrator, ah, or the oh, overall so story. To narrate, yes. Story? Yes, okay. So, uh, the, the first negative, I would say that uh, the, the journey... Okay, I will ask you to decide this. Do the kids go back or forward? Who, who's you? Is it you boss us or is it me? Okay. I think that they decide to go forward because they understand okay. that they That's they perfect. would be wanted, right? Yes. So the the, the first negative from this um, that you have just given me is that uh, the Bones um, hit and catch do not manage to get on the same boat of the uh, as the kids. They are stranded <clears> at <throat> sea, and they will probably uh, land somewhere in the in the faraway continent, 
but they are not with the kids to guide them in mm -hmm. the in their uh, in, in in their attempt to settle this land and to survive in this land and to do something with the sword and the legacy that you have given them and uh, the other negative i would say is that uh, in the swamp in the new continent where they arrive there will be a very uh, petty a very evil and a very uh, dickish will of the wisp <laughs> <was Yes>. <laughs> I knew. That, that will try to, to lure them uh, to their demise in the swamp where he finally is free but um, the positive ones is that they land safely on the on, on the on on the beach and they they will actually try to make uh, a good uh, a good life for, for for themselves joining the colonies and spreading the fact that the monsters are not to be feared but to integrate it into society and our the last image of our um, the last image of our uh, adventure will be a uh, large fields full of uh, pumpkins and potatoes and uh, everything a, a very a very bountiful field full of food where the kids are working and uh, a scarecrow armed with uh, the sword of bones keeping guard over this garden of fruit that means uh, life and uh, happiness for the kids in the next uh, in the next future at least and with with this uh, we can close our campaign so this is the end this is not the end yeah, is okay. it? sorry i got confused for a second eh? <laughs> oh yes oh, bones is gone anybody could have been the the one going in this session yeah a actually, great uh, actually bones is gone but uh, he he is his, his sword the sword has That's not been destroyed it. yet so mm -hmm. maybe yeah. Maybe, maybe who maybe, knows? Maybe. This is not the who end. Knows? This is not the end. Exactly, exactly. Okay, to everyone who listened and watched, uh, we thank you so much because uh, uh, this was our first attempt to uh, play for an audience uh, in English. Uh, we hope we were uh, understandable enough, and we hope you were uh, able to convey uh, how much we we, we like the system and uh, what. The system can do what kind of stories it can tell yeah it was uh, a very particular story and i had so much fun so thank you uh, yeah. Fabio. uh really really enjoyed it and uh, arturo and vincenzo uh, great great yeah, thank you guys really yeah. thanks thank you as well uh we hope you had fun we hope you find in the end something that you can like it that you can play with with, with, with your friends uh, we hope that this is not the end and that you will play again uh, with this or any other uh, RPG that you like because this is our hobby and we all love it. Absolutely. So for now, just for now, it, this is the end. Uh, bye for the last time. As the narrator, I was Fabio. As Sketch. It was Marco. As Bones. Arturo. And as Hit. Vincenzo. And bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.